Forex trading is a numbers game. However, a lot of traders don't really truly understand what this means. So we are going to do a little demonstration here and then I will show you a strategy that you can apply using this simple demonstration. So there are two concepts in forex trading that get thrown around a lot. Win rate and risk to reward ratio. So risk to reward ratio is how much you make per winning trade. And then win rate is how many winners do you have compared to your losers out of 10 or, or out of 100. So in this example, we are going to use 10 trades. Now, this 1, 2, 3 up to 10 is the number of trades you take consecutively. So trade 1, trade 2, trade 3. And then we will use a strategy that has a 30% win rate. Out of 10 trades, we only win 3 trades. And each winner, the least amount of money we get out of it is 3R. Our trading period, the first trade is minus 1, the second trade is minus 1, the third trade is minus 1, the fourth trade is minus 1, the fifth trade is plus 3, and then the sixth trade is minus 1, the seventh trade is plus 3, the eighth trade is plus 3, and then the ninth trade is minus 1, and then the 10th trade is minus 1. So you can see the order. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 losers. So at some point in your journey, during say this one month period, your goal is to take 10 trades. Now you will find that you will have a losing streak of 1, 2, 3, 4 consecutive trades or even days if you are trading one trade per day and this is the most important thing when when an outsider comes and looks at uh, your account when you are on day three you are at minus three so this guy might think this guy is a loser he doesn't know what he is doing but then if he comes up on day one two three four five on day five you are at minus one so one two three four so four losing trades and then one winning trade actually cancels out three losing trades and you are left with minus one then on the next day you are back at minus two and then the day after you are back in positive positive one and then the day after you are in positive four and then the next two days you are in my you are in now uh, positive two because of the two losers so that is how forex trading works so if you understand your win rate and you understand your risk to reward ratio then you don't really have to worry about the individual trades because you are playing a game of numbers this is a game of probabilities and if you already know that out of 10 trades there's a very high chance that you will catch three winners then obviously if anybody tells you oh you don't know what you're doing because you're getting losers then fuck them because they don't understand the game you are playing so if this simple uh, illustration is all about forex trading, how do we apply this now into the market? So these are the rules that I have put in place for myself in order for me to stay rational and play the numbers game rather than the emotional game that forex trading really is. So first things first, we need to have a system that will give us a win rate of at least 30% and then a risk reward ratio of at least one is to three so how do we come up with rules that will make sure we play the numbers game number one is you need to have a very specific way of analyzing the markets in terms of the higher time frames so it doesn't matter whatever you use it really has to be very specific so that you can track it for me I use what we call a failed breakout. Now, if I see a failed breakout at high of week, it means I sell the next day. And then if I see failed breakout at low of week, it means buy the next day. So this is a very simple black and white system that tells me sell 
or buy. Sell or buy. Nothing else. Now, once I already know whether I am buying or selling, then on the trading day, we need a very specific way of getting into the market. And most importantly, your exit is the most important thing. Because here's the thing. The, re the reality of trading is fear comes in once you're in profit and hope comes in once you are in drawdown. So you find that when you are in drawdown, you actually add in positions because you think the market will reverse and go back in your direction. And clearly you are losing. And then when the market is going in your direction, you think the market is going to reverse and go back to your stop loss. So you exit early. And this is a guaranteed way of actually blowing up your account. Because truly, you are not playing a game of numbers, you are playing a game of emotions. So, on this specific day, we need to be able, first of all, to exit with at least 3R. That way, we know that our risk to reward ratio is taken care of. And then, now the rest is we just have a very specific trading process that will allow us to actually uh, input the negatives and the positives and all the trades are identical. Well, in terms of the entry criteria in, and in terms of how you actually find these setups, these setups are identical across the board. And so if they are, if they are identical, it means that there is a very high probability that you will get the 30% win rate. And usually it's about 30 to 40 to 50% depending on the month win rate. So if you just stick to this process, then obviously 100%, you already know the numbers. You don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is just find capital and start trading because Here's the thing, here's the thing, and this is where beginner traders actually struggle. You get minus, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. Four losing trades, you quit. You decide, ah, this strategy is not working. So if it's not working, you jump to another strategy that has, <laughs> it's funny, that the numbers are now interchanged. You get the positive begins, so you get positive, negative, positive and then negative 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 not knowing that there will be positive 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 coming then you quit then you jump onto another strategy that has the same same numbers but in a different order so it's just accepting that you don't know how the winners and the losers are arranged in that trading period you might have you might begin with a losing streak but if you stick to the plan, remember your, only, your aim is to only have three winners. So if you have three winners, then you know over the next 10 trades, I don't have any stress because I will still be in profit even if all the other trades are losers. So let me, let me demonstrate how exactly I use this system. So today is on a Wednesday and this is the perfect day to illustrate. So Monday will always set the high and the low of the week. So this is Monday. So this is where Mon so this is where Monday begins. And then on Tuesday I'm interested in looking for the failed breakout. Now a failed breakout is when price breaks below the high or the low. So in our case here, price breaks out of the low and then closes back inside of the range, which now gives us a failed breakout at the low of the week, which now tells me to buy on Wednesday. Now, on today on Wednesday, I am looking for a buy, but we can see the train has already left the station. Now, when I come to the screen on this trading day now, I have a specific process. Number one is my timing window. So my timing window for Asia is 9 to 11 p.m. So 9 to 11 p.m. New York time. And then for London is between 3 and 5 a.m. New York time. And then for New York, the time is between 9 and 11 a.m. New York time. 
So once I come to the screen at this specific time, so let's put it there at three. The next step is identify your high and low of the day. So in our case here, the highest point, so we can see from this blue line here, this is the open of the day. This is the highest point, which is now the high of the day. And this is the lowest point, which is now the low of the day. Now I have my daily range. I can see how many pips I have. And if I am to trade, can this trade really give me a risk to reward ratio of one is to three? Now, <coughs> now the next step once I draw the high and the low of the day is my levels. Now, let's assume we want to sell because this is a very good sell scenario setup. So if I want to sell, I want to identify my levels after an uptrend. So you can see here we have price going up, gave us one low, price went up, gave us another low, and touched that same area. So this one is a level, and this level is from here up to down here. And then we have this new low forming here. And so if price again comes and touches this low, so price is going up, if it comes and touches this low, then I have another level. Now, my entry criteria is very simple. It's a breakout. So if I want to sell, now, yes, if I want to sell, it means that price needs to break up below my level. So if price breaks below my level, that's my entry. And then stop loss is above the breakout candle. And then my target is a one to five. But I start trailing at one to three. So rather than getting out at break even, I get out at one to three. But if price hits one to five, then better for me because more money for me, it means more leverage. So basically, this is how I actually use the basic game of numbers to trade and detach from my emotions, knowing that if I continue playing, then I automatically win if I stick to my trading plan. So hopefully this, hopefully you got value from today's video. Check out our school community. We have a free course there and a lot of resources that, that will help you improve your trading. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.